Better Better you should smoke Avenue, pot than buy all those records. And would you please stop playing with matches? Okay, Charles Curtis, we, we met at Axpona a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, Guten Tag. Uh, yeah, we had an interesting email that came here on the first day of the show from uh, Lowell Graham, who uh, you obviously know. Yes, he uh, was the conductor of the uh, National Symphonic Wind Band, I think is what it is. Yeah, I and mean, he's a professor in music, director of orchestral activities, yeah. director of professional consult, uh, conducting, conducting ensembles, area connect, uh, uh, coordinator. That I, uh, I just bumped into you, so long story short, he bought one of our record cleaners after seeing your video, by the way. And he's a curator of video, of uh, records for the last 50 years and he's used do-it-yourself units as well as professional units and open quote end quote this is a best buy for the benefit of ultrasonics to restore LP sonic sonics to their potential Over the past five decades I've used many systems let me jump right to the point none of those systems have come close to the sonic benefits I'm experiencing with the system and to use an old cliche it's like opening up a window and the sound is dramatic. My collection is rather well kept, except for some used records that I picked up, but now that I hear them is a, is a revelation. The cleaning solution that we introduced, that's now a hit here as well, has gone to the ranks of someone that is a custodian of records. So I am now a real doctor. This is fake. This was all the rabbit. It was all a gimmick. So real and an opportunity down the road to get hopefully an award. More details to follow. follow. All right, I like that. Great. Congratulations. Thank and you. And you're also a very nice man because I know that you helped someone I know who doesn't have a lot of money get one of your cleaning systems at a reduced price. So that was very nice. Yeah, of you. yeah. And yeah. I he, appreciate that, and so does yeah. he. Yeah, his. He, we all love this business. We all love music, and it's nice when someone says you can look around and get good sounding sound. And this fellow, I was so touched by what he wrote and yeah. the feedback of what he's done. You know, he's a con artist. He says that to everybody. He's that's a very, okay. He's a very wealthy man, and that's how he's become wealthy. No, well, I'm maybe I should do that. Then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's a nice yeah. guy, and yeah. I appreciate the. Job. Well, you should be getting the award because of your dedication of bringing information as it happens. Well, I'm getting an award by the L.A. and Orange County Audio Society this December. Oh well, so. uh, send me the invitation, and I'll come down, and I'll okay. be there, and I'll get you a rabbit. Okay. There thank you, you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so uh, so now we're with our do our doctorate of vinyl, Charles. Greetings. And this is a brand new record. This is an electric recording company, limited edition to 99 copies, that was sold out as soon as it started. And I know they charged a lot for this record when it was when it was sold, and it's all out of print now. An original pressing of this, by the way, from the 60s, you'll see on uh, Pop Psych for five thousand dollars and up. So this record has never been cleaned by anything. So now we're going to put it into this ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, very good. I'm just doing a little quick inspection here. If you recall last time, uh, I, I did a couple of uh, inspections uh, for the master here and we saw little gray areas, which is typically the start of fun. that was a dirty old record. Exactly, yeah, yeah. so this looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and put this in our record restoration system. In here we just have uh, six liters of water and 40 milliliters of 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. The alcohol is a degreaser and this is a recipe that the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, as well as uh, uh, the National Film Board of Canada in 1966 say is a proper mix to remove first the grease. So while this is running down for five minutes, what we're actually doing, if this was your new record that you bought, it removes the, the alcohol removes the release agent on the record. Okay, so now, in this uh, case here, we're just okay, letting it run. Okay, now this is something I don't yeah. understand. Okay. Because the people at the pressing plants say there is no release agent in their presses, and the people that make the PVZ tell me that any kind of release agent that's put into the PVC formula stays in the PVC formula mm -hmm. and should never come out, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you're... What well, you're what happens is the uh, a record is a living, breathing thing. Okay. PVC actually has a percentage upwards of 20% of sugar. Okay. okay. So no matter whether it's a new record or an old record, that's why you're getting all of this contamination growing on, because it's a living, breathing okay, thing. Okay, I get so that. So now I when we that. have the record, 
you have to have a release agent on there. Yes, it's part of the surface, part of the PVC. But you need to be able to clean that. Otherwise, your record without cleaning with a solvent how does, is how does friendly. The, how, I, here's what I understand. Okay. The release agent is bonded into the molecular structure of the PVC it has a formulation. It, to release it, it, there is a coating on there. Either it's a powder, where is or it? It's right on top of the record. It's a film. But it's not part of the. It's not. It, it is on there. If you've seen how a record is pressed, I have. Okay. This is. I, you know, I'm, yeah, I, I'm not trying I, to be argumentative. Yeah, I understand but I, that. This, yeah. it, they don't like spray the the, 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 the metal part. No, it's part of the process. It's not a spray. It's released by the heat, and when the uh, press actually comes up. It's a film that is part of the chemical reaction between the heat and the PVC. Okay. Okay, so it's right. part, so it is a residue. Okay. It is a residue, but it's not like cooking oil. Okay. So so here what we're doing is if this was a brand new record, we're just basically using, you know, the isopropyl alcohol okay. to aid in the degreasing and okay. not using ultrasonic, we're using a plasma wave. Okay. That's the first difference between uh, the misconceptions when an ultrasonic bubble rises from the bottom, it explodes. We call it cavitation. Right. But the cleaning action is actually a plasma wave at 500 miles an hour that hits the record After the with explodes. the solvent. Yeah. And it's, but it's not a bubble. Oh. It's an actual wave. We've had 19 cameras underground here, if you want, I call it underground, that is looking at each angle where we have a light and we can see this cavitation. So it's not thing. scrubbing bubbles. It's, it's not scrubbing bubbles, that's right. It's the, not a shark tank. And the plasma wave is created by the bubbles? By the, ex exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And that's where, in, in, in a design that does not affect a record or damage it, we need to have the right frequency of the bubble. Right. We need the right size of the bubble exploding. We also need to have power that's not strong enough to that 900 kilometer hour or 500 mile an hour wave that will actually destroy your record. So is it power and frequency? Power, frequency, and angle. Okay. Everything comes into effect. And that's why over the last couple of days here, and uh, you'll have a little picture that you can then present, you'll see where we picked up pieces of vinyl that have been destroyed. Actually, not on this record. Not, not on this record. Okay. I hope not. <laughs> I it hope hasn't not. Been before. But but that's what we've been picking up here. Not right. not only that, but also soap. Right. And uh, again, we've had a lot of issues where the Germans say, "Oh well, you know, we need a vacuum to vacuum things out." If you read the documentation made in the 60s by all of the people in the business, Deutsche Grammophon, CBC, BBC, uh, uh, Mercury. You need to remove any kind of cleaning agent, and in those days it wasn't sonic, it was right. just a spray. Right. You need a mechanical cleaning. Okay. So you need a mechanical cleaning to remove the film. And then you have to protect the sugars from coming back on the record. But a vacuum would do that too, right? A vacuum won't, because of the fact that the vacuum removes the water, but there's no mechanical mechanism to really remove the film. Even even the, the velvet lips that are... The velvet lips actually create a problem of a Venturi effect, where on the record the velvet now restricts air, but you just clean this section of record by having the record turn, dust is now entering the grooves, so basically you, you're, you're, you're dirtying your record by the contaminants in your air. Same thing like air drying. Whatever you have here in dust, like we have a headlight going up here or a flashlight, you'll see the dust in this area. Okay, so we've, we've now done what normally we do with a new record. We've used ultrasonic, the cavitation effect and the exploding plasma just to remove any grease. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to now use a surfactant, a proper surfactant that we mechanically work in. So what we've done and found is ultrasonics alone cannot clean your record. So we have a 1% ethyl glycol solution in distilled water. It comes from your car, it's basically antifreeze. Right. So I put this up at 12.4 and eight, it's arbitrary. Right. But what I do is I work this in with a camel brush. Now you're uh, 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 uh. You see this? It's not just bubbles? It's soap. Okay, this have... record's never been cleaned, so where's it coming from? Well, wherever it came from, <laughs> we have, uh, in your original case that we looked at, uh, Michael, that was soap that oh, came that, out. Oh, that this I is fungus. Doubt. This is fungus that's coming. Why would they be fungus in a brand new record? Well, what happens is record is made out of sugar. And when sugar is subjected to uh, moisture, like a record is, it basically grows on your record. So we are doing a mechanical cleaning. Okay? 
So now we brush this in, and now we're going to apply this another five minutes. The timing is arbitrary. Uh, we, we, we took it because people like numbers and five works. Right. Uh, so and, uh, okay. and this is arbitrary, but from what we've done with many, actually now many users, thanks to your information, uh, they found that we've been now going from poor records to e-records by just doing right, a, a, a okay. process like yeah. this. So this will run now for, uh, for five minutes. I am going to do this a second time, and the reason why is that we discovered here, again, this has been your record, so um, we don't know its provenance, but the records that we've been buying here, every single one, we've had tremendous amounts of, of soap coming Because they're used records, and you're also getting probably tobacco... Uh and more so, Yellow, they make the record look good. So they use one of the concoctions, right. and geez, it's shiny. So you come home, it's shiny. You put it in on a turntable. Well, they use lighter fluids, what they're using. That's what they use, that's what, because it makes it shiny. Yeah, but that's bad, because if you take a look at the chemical structure, CHC, and then you add either alcohol, low, low, uh, low concentration, or uh, ethyl glycol, it's it's uh, the, the water and the surfactants mix. They're not agents, harmful agents. Right. So we're going to let this go through. Okay. But we did see some cream come out. So now so from where though? Well, it's it's uh, it's now the fungus that was on your record that's hidden. It's it's a week. It's a two, it's a two week old record that it's was there. never it was never played sitting in it. Well, it doesn't make any don't sense. Know. I don't know either. Don't know. What we should do is get is a, it. Well, it's the surface. You know, is it the surface agent? Is it the release agent? You should not have on a record, once an ultrasonic system has been already used and properly cleaned, you shouldn't see that coming right, out. Right, but that's never been cleaned or anything. Well, anyway, so there, well, what we should do is it. buy a brand new record and, and see what comes off of it. Let's go should, and do that. Nothing should come off of it, let's right? Go, exactly, let's go and do that. Okay, I'll, I'll do that when do this that. is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we cleaned the Thunderbirds yesterday, and uh, you can see the record right down there, and we cleaned that, and we had tremendous amounts of soap come out. Right, but those are used records. So. Yeah, those are used records. That's a different thing entirely. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Very so good, safe. Okay, so now we've gone through the second rinse, and there's just little bubbles of water on it. Okay, so that's fine. Roll it off a bit. I'm going to put this back on, and I'm always, with any kind of a record, we've now learned that we do this twice. Let's see if it's, there's still soap on it. Quote. Exactly. And when I don't see soap anymore... But I see it's the same... Thing. Yep. I think we'll do this all day and we'll keep finding that because it looks like you're just scrubbing. I'm there's, being very, I'm there's, being very there's uh, something skeptical. There's something on there. You have to, you well, have to uh, forgive me for being very skeptical. That's very fine. Yeah, look at this. Look yeah. at this. There is something on this surface of the record. And we have softened it. Why have we softened it? Our bath is at 35 degrees Celsius, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and we have softened what is in. Look at that. It's really coming out now. Okay? It's really coming out now. So this will take another cleaning and we won't have that anymore. And that's what we've seen over the last four months okay. where we've been using this. this is okay? So you can go back it's and ask It's not them. okay. <laughs> you can go ask them and say, you just said that there wasn't a release agent. Well, we have a release agent here now. This is proven. This wasn't fungus. This is a release agent. Okay? The record is basically dirty. Now, it would have been interesting if this was a test record where you have 5,000 hertz, 6,000 right, hertz, right, 10,000, right. and then play it before, take a snapshot of the wave, and then afterwards play it back, That's and then another, see whether right. there was a difference or not. Right. We that, can't do that here. No. Okay, we'll uh, let this run, and we'll okay. see you in five minutes. Okay. All right, so now, the, the what's really pretty crazy is we took the... We took a record that, that was not, that as far as I know, had never been cleaned, and it showed up that there was soap on it. Now we're taking, I just, let's get a brand new sealed record here at the show. I got a Monte Alexander album that I may even have at home that MPS may have sent me. But it doesn't matter, we've got to get this straightened out. Now we're going we're gonna to put it in the cavitation machine. Now you got this five minutes. Give it five minutes. Is it warped? There it goes. And we'll be back. We'll be back in five minutes, and then we're going to see, give it the soap test. Okay, be right back. Okay, this is a brand new record. Brand new record, and no soap should come off of this record. If if, None. It, if foam comes off of this record, I. Now we had heat cleaned his two records. No foam came out, and right. these are pressings from. Uh, which pressings were the ones? So here I'm going to do this, foam. this, this. Okay. 
Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. A, I mean, it's... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. So we had something... That, that was a brand new record, yeah. right? That you've never taken out. I don't out. think I cleaned it in the machine. I don't think I did. But it wasn't brand new. Maybe I did clean nope. it. You know? No. Nope. Nothing. There's nothing. So, okay, nothing. so maybe I did clean it. So now I'm going to go back in here. Oh, this is horrible. Five minutes. This is horrible what's happening here. You're ruining my life. Not just my life, but the life of all the people that are going to watch this. No one spent time studying this. This is I know, because we hate studying. That's why I was dropped out of college. I hated studying. Well, that's why I quit university, because I knew more than my teachers, and then <laughs> I went back and got my diploma at night. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because the night professors were better than the day professors. I'm turning this off now. Okay, so there was no soap on this record. So now it's been cavitated twice. Yes, that's and correct. And now we're going to dry yeah. it with the microfiber. Yeah, so going back to the 1960s and the document that came from either the National Film Board of Canada that was uh, 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 made by their record curator in 66 or the Deutsche Grammophon document in 52 and also the mercury document that I found of 59, right. you need to have a mechanical method of removing whatever residue it is. Right. So here, all we do is we're, we supply just a grade one microfiber cloth of course, they that's didn't opticians have, cloth. They didn't have that kind of microfiber cloth in the 50s. Yeah. They used something not as good, right? They, something is not as good, but it was still lint-free. So right. they called it a lint-free um, cloth, okay. which was for glass making. So okay. that's what the curators use. How often do you have to change those? Uh, well, what we do is we just wash it. You just once uh, once you're finished with your records, just ro wash, wash rinse it, out. it with just lukewarm water, and then dry and it. Dry it. That's all. Like, air dry. Let, leave it air dry. Okay, that yeah. you can air dry. Yeah, that's correct. So okay. now I've done this. Now something was interesting. Where in the '60s, Doctor Watts created in England the Watts Parastatic Brush. Right. And they had a very unique. Uh, method of organizing the felts. They had a patent on it. And if you remember, it actually was a circle and you put in a foam piece that's that you right. either wet or water. Right. I bought mine in 71. Right. This is the same material, the same design. So we now remove any water that's left over. And so you're making one of those now? Yeah, we're this is it, right oh. here. And that comes with the system. And what this does, it removes whatever we have in on the record surface. So again, it's a mechanical action. If you use air to dry it, you're drying whatever was on the record, leaving the film, which right. your needle picks up, right. and also it brings dust in. So we're trying to make this as virgin as we can. The same thing, if I have a vacuum system bringing this out, you have dust particles that come, they land now at accelerated it volume, them it sucks because, them in. Right. Yeah, so this is, it's labor intensive, but for the love of records, that's what you do. Okay. It's the price we have to pay with no, com it's, a com it's not a compromise, it's the right way. Okay. So then we bring this over to our turntable. And we see how warped it is. So now what we do is typically take, you know, just a little can of air spray, clean whatever. Right. So okay. just okay. clean it off, whether it's a cork surface or whether right. it's a vinyl. And we put the record on. And this would normally be turning. Right. Uh, obviously, we didn't pay our electrical bill no. here, so this hasn't happened. It doesn't look too warped from that angle. No, it doesn't. No, no. Whatever it was. Okay. So here, and what now, we do now is we use the same one percent. The same uh, that you used over there. Bulb, the same. It's because it's uh, it's 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 it, it's out. It's antifreeze from your car basically, okay. and it's an antifungal. So when you just spray it like this on. The camel hair brush. Oh, just a light. It's just a light mist. Just to get whatever a, fungus exactly. is still among us. Exactly. Okay. So now this will then, in theory, this will obviously, I'm going to have the record turn and just bring this over the record once. I gotcha. Over twice. It also is a gentle polish because it's, it's right. going into your groove. Nothing's being left in the groove. So now the sugars on the record are not going to be picking up fungus. Right. And then you store it nicely in a you know, anti-static. Right, rice paper. Rice paper, That's what I like. but don't use uh, the ones that are uh, PVC based. Right. Because that defeats the purpose. You right. need to have also circulation of air right. inside. So when you're playing a record, we go back to the same tools that we've provided you with. And that is again, now if I'm going to be playing this record, 
I'm using again my parastatic felt right. for the anti-static. Right. Okay, and the record's turning. And this is the way you normally remove it. You don't just go here and line it up because you want to use it like a come from Canada, so it's like a shovel, a, 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 right. a, a, gro a road grader. Right. Gotcha. Now so what? off we go. And the other side. And then the one million carbon fibers will remove the dust, so this will be turning around. Right. And, and very gently. Very. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. See people press down it. It's the opposite of what you do. And what's worse when you press down, guess what happens you sometimes? The, you deform the carbon you, fiber and you break Yep, exactly. Yeah. And some people even then end up with the edges. So right. records are fragile. Of course they are. Um, As are egos. And you're you're just start destroying mine with this whole thing. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Well, hey, look, I learned a lot too. Yeah. And believe you me, I you know, I have one of the machines at home and yeah. I've been doing yeah. my records for twenty five yeah. years. Yeah. So uh, and, and it's uh, with all due respect, um, uh, in the document I read from the uh, National Film Board of Canada, just yeah. type it in, 1966, you'll yeah. get it. It's yeah. the curator, yeah. uh, Bernier or someone. Uh, and uh, he recommended, you know, this is the cleaning method, the cleaning chemicals. But he then said, oh, well, we're going to use brand A and brand B, which are still being sold today, which right. I have one of them. Yeah. And But no one actually took a look after the curation right. or after the cleaning of what really was on the surface. Right. So you and I, we're all the same. And you know what? Um, uh, there's a French-Canadian program called Jeannette Veux Savoir. Jeannette wants to know. And right. you know what? You go deeper and deeper and deeper. Yep. Who, what, when, where, and when, and yeah. how, or whatever. Okay, now I want to take one of my one of my really cleaned records Very and good. see what soap is on it. Absolutely, okay? that's Just, great. Thank okay. you, Michael. Thank you. Okay, so this is, a, this is a thrift store, my thrift store TV Jazz Names record that, that I've cleaned, cavitated, Numerous times. It's got some fingerprints on it now from, from it's been shown and used at the show. No, these are watermarks here. That, that That's a fingerprint. This oh, is a watermark. Okay. Okay, and we have a little fungus right here in the, you notice with the gray section, uh, there, right here. Okay. Okay, the fungus doesn't come off with a mechanical. Right. That only comes off when you're using, a, you know, right. an ultrasonic. Okay, well, I use the other ultrasonic there we go. machines. So, you know. Yeah, there. The same thing here. Okay, and now I'm always interested in taking a look over here at the uh, at the uh, wax mark. Right. Okay. The date is on it. The mastering date. Four, yes, it is. 4-10-1959. I'm a little older. Okay. I'm a lot older. Okay, so. Okay, so, there we go. Yeah, just here. Same thing. That's fungus here. That hasn't been cleaned. This section here is fungus. Okay. So whatever cleaning system was used, it did this area, but didn't do near the wax mark. Okay. So let's put it in the machine. Okay. Uh, we have a pile up in the machines here. Uh oh, okay, let's. Uh -oh. The gentlemen come on over. Okay. <laughs> the gentlemen come on over. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is this gentleman has had his records being cleaned here, and again, we're interested to see these brand new, new records. New, new record? Yes. New record. New record, so we're going to take this record out. Brand new under Caesar, what is Caesar's? There we go. Which better not be so. Kaiser, the prayer. Kaiser? Caesar. Caesar. Oh, it is Caesar. Caesar is a group. Okay. Well, I think so it, wasn't, is, it wasn't the emperor. Uh, I don't think he recorded any records. They had it's wine. A, it's an English company. Oh, is it? Okay, so here we're applying again. Ah, look at this. It's soapy. Look at the soap now coming out That's of this. That's a brand new record. That's a brand. So we had one of yours that was soap. Right. Another one wasn't. What? And this and his one, we cleaned too. No soap. So what this is, again, either one of two things. We have a release agent on here, a powder release agent that's come out. Uh, and since it wasn't washed by anyone else, it has to be on the fabrication side, not on the uh, storage side. It's a 45. Yeah. Oh, it's a 45 as well. Yes. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this come out. So this is a brand new record. So this is actually the release agent. And it's probably, in my estimation, a powdered release agent of some sort, because look how soluble this is. Yours took a while to come out. This just came out just with a whip. Okay, I'm going to stick this back in here. There we go. Very good. Okay, let's get another cavitation. So this, so this is why you buy, you buy, you clean new records because they're dirty. For yeah. One thing, and they may have, I still, I still have to deal with the mold of these. Yeah. But, but you know, the, the interesting issue here is, again, if this was just played on a turntable, heat is generated by the stylus. Right. If we happen to have dust in there, we're now accelerating, you know, whatever is coming on the record. Right. And we always wonder, how come on a brand new record, we have pops? 
And we shouldn't. We really shouldn't. Very good. And there was a joke, by the way, where uh, Michael said that this record well, wait, here in the I'll back. Do, we'll make, we'll do the okay. film joke. Okay, the film joke. Good. Yeah, yeah. The only records that have pops are, are uh, Louis Armstrong records. Yeah, they have to be there. Just, that's his name. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, I'm taking my uh, Somerset record of uh, TV jazz themes, which has been cavitationally cleaned at home. Uh, and, of course, there's a used record that came from a thrift store. So let's see what happens in here. We'll, we'll see when it comes out. It showed signs of fungus among us. We'll be back after this message. Okay, so now the record's been cavitated. It's coming out. And now we're putting it down on the operating table, and we're going to look for soap. We're going to look for fungus. How do we see the fung... How do we well, see the... Well, now, now we won't see fungus because... Uh, what, well, I can see it when it's dried. Right. But, but what right about... now I want to go and use right. the, uh, the ethyl glycol and see soap be just a bit. There, there's soap. There's soap. Yeah. Yeah, there's soap. There's soap for all of us. Yeah. There's no soap. So we have five records, three of which have soap. You got to be able... Careful not to confuse bubbles with soap, Correct. right? Correct. Yeah, well, here... There, look, swish. Look at that, swish. That's that's soap. That's there, bubbles. Not yeah. only bubble, it's foam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was previously a clean record. Right. Hmm. But it wasn't really clean. So no, now it we're wasn't. Gonna, now we're going to do it again, and we're going to see if the next time yep. through it doesn't show as much soap. Yep. Of course, this doesn't leave time to pl actually play records, but who cares? Second go round. Okay, if I'm a betting man, if I, I, I'm seeing this over here, uh, we're still going to have soap. Mm. We're still going to have soap. Yes, lots of soap. This will probably take four or five cleanings to get rid of this. We're not going to do that. No, no, no but this is what we've been seeing uh, with a lot of the records that people have been bringing in, just bought and people that have used other systems, yep. it takes four or five times to get soap out. Because those systems now, don't... Now, when you say soap, what is it, what, what's the definition of soap? Well, it's the, um, it's the cleaning agent that has never been removed right. from a prior so, application. So it, it can be any kind of... When you say soap, it's yeah. not, not yeah. literally... It's not necessarily soap, but it's whatever right. was used either prior to the cleaning or something that you didn't add but was never removed by ultrasonic cavitation because you need to have some mechanical method right. in order to break things. Right. And that's our, our, that's our kind of little swing because we're not only using ultrasonics, we're using some mechanical work. Right. And like we used to do with a brush. Right. And if you read again the BBC documents and Radio Canada and whatever, right. they say, use the brush, use the water, Still water, clean, rinse, whatever. Right, I mean, right. they weren't even talking about ultrasonics in those yep. days. Okay, so now it's in one more time. Yep. This could take more than one more time, but I don't have that much time. The show's over in a couple hours. I want to see a few more rooms. Well, you'll okay. be able to do this at home. So yes. we'll, we'll let you work yes. with one of these, and you can then yes. play all night. Yes. Then I can play and listen and play. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Do it, but I'm just going to dry it. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to dry it now. We're not going to look for another layer of soap, which might be on there. We're just going to dry it and see whether we've defungicized it. Well, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to do it just for two seconds. Okay. It doesn't matter. Here, let's just okay. put that on. Now, this sorry, I uh, wanted to go with this. This is the same. It still oh, there's still soap in huh? it. still. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. this needs more cleaning. That's crazy. So anyways, I am going to just dry it, and then right. you can play at home. Right. How often do you change the water that's in uh, there? I normally change the water between 15 and 20 records. Okay. And and, and I do that no matter what. Uh, and do you, use, you don't use plain tap water, do you? Uh, no, I use distilled water or deionized or water. Rever six reverse liters. osmosis water? No, don't need to go to that extent. I mean, I have, DI, I have a system yeah. in my house. Yeah, the DI so works. The DI yeah. works, and then you just add, look, I'm still, look, it's all again still bleh. Yeah. yeah, so there's still crap on yeah. here. And that, and then just mix with a, uh, you know, seventy percent alcohol, one point four ounces. Yeah, this still has. That's all for that this this particular over. part of the process. Yeah, so whatever was used with this record certainly didn't clean the record. And yeah, it got one cavitation. One one cavitation. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Which is probably good because more would have taken off more of the high frequencies. You're saying? No, not not, not with this system. No, no, I'm with my. I mean, oh, with, with another. When I did yeah, it yeah, absolutely. Now, if you take the top off of this, are you going to see sure, pieces of look. vinyl in there? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Very good point because yesterday, oh, guess what? There's vinyl. 
There's vinyl here, and actually it yeah. looks like they're clumped. It's because vinyl is static, okay, so it gets together. But this, in theory, is is just, there you go, it's just there. It's it's just the vinyl dust that has been, the record's been subject to a high-frequency ultrasonic that has basically taken and sandblasted a record, and it remained on the record's cracks because it was never cleaned properly. Wow. And that's what we've been picking up here. Yeah. We didn't find this in, in uh, Chicago uh, last month. We've been finding it here.